Team a clearance delivery easy jet Romeo Alpha Tree 22 ready to copy IFR clearance to Galeo. Easy jet Romeo Alpha Tree 22 is cleared to Galeo Airport as filed. Take off runway 11 climb and maintain 13,000 feet. Departure frequency is 135.8 squawk 2151. EasyJet Romeo Alpha Tree 22 cleared to Galeo Airport as filed. Take off runway 11 climb and maintain 13,000 feet. Departure on 135.8 squawk 2151. EasyJet Romeo Alpha Tree 22 rate back is correct. 
Contact ground on 121 decimal niner when ready to taxi. Hello, Voyager. Take of page. All set already here. No worries. <laughs> I don't like to mess around the FMC most of the time. I try to make it shorter. Takes so much time actually when you get when you get in depth. <laughs> oh, perfect! Now we can learn now. <laughs> um, pretty sure these uh, takeoff speeds are not so accurate. You can guide me if you think. On an A320, I think that's a bit lower than uh, the average. Passengers here. It's gonna take a while. V1 at 145. That's okay. I'll put it. That sounds uh, pretty much realistic now. So we can decide uh, VR at 147 maybe, or maybe 148. Then we go for V2 at 150. I think that fits. Yep. V2 148, okay. That sounds great. My flight plan is always a big mess. 
So I instantly imported from uh, Simbrief. Lap one, based on the runway length, I didn't test or check how uh, what is the run the runway length. So for the safest side, I always choose uh, flaps two. But we can try one, no problem. We have already high speeds on the takeoff. That fits perfectly. The flex to temp I used to set it at 60, because I don't get in depth in calculating the flex to temp. I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a time if I calculated it. Doors, I believe they should be closed at the moment. Since we have no cars at this airport, let's just instantly close it. I think we're all done here. Anything we're missing? Performance. Uh, that's all set. Fuel. The nav is okay. Everything is fine, I guess. Now we check the. Okay. The METAR. I'll be checking it from here. Uh, this one. Oh yeah, we sent it already. I can print it out. You got the message here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, it's, I think it's pretty accurate. It's 123, okay. 1023. That's all good. Wait for them to board. And this one is synced with the simulator, so I cannot mo move without. I contact her for other details or see your aviator tab. It's pretty basic, I believe. There's nothing here to, to be doing around. It's only showing you like a navigation details here. The METARs are shown here with the temperatures and weather conditions that's imported automatically from simbrief.com. The dispatch have nothing more than an information about the airplane on flight. That also was imported from simbrief. Fuel. All set here, I guess. Flight is in operating. Performance. It's regarding simulator settings most of the time. And ground for the surfaces, that the pushback and the doors and, and stuff. It's pretty basic. Even the, the ATC, most of the people don't use this one. They tend to use the, the VATSIM. But I'm not familiar with the... Um, We need to take the clearance for the taxi. Ah, uh, we take it already. Yup, we did. We have the taxi ribbon here. Let's check the Axum. Downloaded the plane in my tab. I didn't get the point here. Can clarify. This tab is only being used for assisting you regarding navigation and METARs and this is all about they're getting to improve this tab much much more but yep the dome lights you mean <laughs> I don't like to use them <laughs> but okay we can use it as we are on the ground Ice and I, I I didn't use this one before. I'm not even knowing what is this. 
Yeah, it's just lights, anyways. <laughs> TCAS also should be for TARA. I think we're clear for pushback now. Just a sec, let these guys finish. Backside gauge is 16. Okay. I'm putting too much passengers here. Yep. That's I used to, to make after the boarding complete, but you know. You just set it from now. Are they fully boarded? Oh, eight passengers. Yes, my APU is on. The APU and APU master switch, and the bleed and uh, the master switches. Yep, boarding complete. I think I'll be using this one. I'll pull the tug. These are my parking brake. Take the fuel pumps. They're all on. Um, wait a sec. Okay. I always get confused with the direction. When to turn. I think, we're, yeah, we'll be using this one. Yep. The bleed? Yes. That's what I heard when I checked some uh, videos on YouTube that only during the engine starting they use the bleed air. I'll be doing precisely next time. That's enough. Then. Thank you. Hug. That is not even visible. Let me watch for this. I just need to finish starting up the engines and after that I will um, show the flight controls through this screen. Just need to make sure that the engine is stabilized here. This one is running, this one is running now. Yep. Going to be a beautiful scenic flight. Let's hope it ends up well. I'm still struggling in my landings <laughs> most of the time. Yeah, it's time for a flap and arming the speed brakes. Switching ignition to normal after this one will stabilize. Yup. Now I can use this one. Look safer. Yeah, it's done. I <laughs> didn't align much with the line, but that's fine for me. Oh, this one is ready. 
Now uh, let's do this one. Light controls, pick. That one left. Right. Right, left. Front, down. And we are ready. Now let's turn on. Turn, let's close the cockpit door. <laughs> cool accessory that they add. A little bit of thrust. Oh, the parking brakes. Holy moly. Views should be turned off, I guess. No. Yeah, I already contacted them. They are uh, giving me the clearance for taxi whenever this taxi ribbon shows up. Means that uh, our taxi is ready. Taxi clearance. APUs must be off, I guess. No. You're no longer needing them. Oh, I forgot the AI uh, controls for the ATC. Now I think I need to open it. I don't want it to interrupt. Hold position. Not sure if there's anything that's a delayed message. Yeah, all was turned on here. Drop is an auto, I think auto is fine. Since they are working automatically now. Oh, that's a pretty close runway. Now I need the takeoff configs. Easy jet Romeo Alpha Tree 2 2, continue taxi. Oh my god, they're giving me the continue. Idling. Oh, the auto brakes, I forgot. Every time I forget the auto brakes. Normal. You need the no blue? Come on. But it's still blue. I hope they fix this bug. Cabin should be informed. No matter what. Let's try it again. Bill Blue. Okay, maybe the AFD. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Look here. Oh my god. This runway is so short. I think we'll be changing our laps. It's pretty short. We definitely not gonna make it. Hold on for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aligning is not the issue at the moment. <laughs> I'm pretty scared of this runway. It's definitely not gonna fit for flaps one. It is a lot better for. You think? It's pretty short. Oh, we can use uh, a higher degree now. Maybe that would be enough. Full toga? I'm I'm not sure, but okay, we'll give it a try. Let's first pull the brakes so we can have some RPMs here. Sure, it's 
gonna make it. 145 is too much here. Oh, it's not. Well, that's great. Good news. There we go. I love this camera now. Fine, I think. Uh, where's the route? Oh, okay, it's not engaged. Curitiba Center is at Romeo Alpha Tree 2 to is climbing through 4,400 feet for 13,000 feet. Let's slow a little bit down. I need to gain some air drag. Whoa, that's so foggy here. Too foggy. Wow, this view is beautiful. I can sit to line thrust. Auto brakes off. I just full straight line, we don't need any turns here, so uh, let's just one sec because I know there's a bug here. thousand vertical speed to reach the a lower speed that's insanely non-realistic <laughs> I think anti-ice must be on here well this speed is quite higher than usual Brazil. It is beautiful. It's cloudy here. Yeah, ignition is already was placed into normal after uh, starting the engine. Yeah, now I'm... Oh, I forgot the, the clock. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, landing lights should be off now. Oh, these will be turned off. Wing lights too. Prop window heat. Heaven is fine. Let's enable them Wi Fi. And gentlemen, the captain has now turned on the Wi Fi for you to access. Please check the seat pocket for Wi Fi information. If you need any assistance, ask for one of our crew members. Thank you. Point is that I'm climbing. Um... Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much for assisting me with this. <laughs> Checklist completed. It's a pretty enjoyable game. My seat belts. Do they turn off the seat belts during the climb? I'm doubting this. I think they should, but on a lower uh, vertical speeds, I guess. Because when I was in my flights to my home country, uh, they used to turn off the seatbelts during uh, a lower pitched climb. But why not? Let them have some fun. I 
cabin is uncontactable at the moment, but yeah, we can use the software. I hope there is a seat belt off notification here. Ah, oh, it's not there, that's why. I can just turn this off. This should be fine now. I wonder why my score is zero. Wait a sec. Connect. Okay, that's a known bug. Reconnect it. Now it should work. Oh my god, we're at 17,000? We need an altitude increase. Thirty-three thousand. Just check.
flight level tree tree zero. Easy jet Romeo Alpha tree two two climb and maintain flight level tree tree zero. Climb and maintain flight level tree tree zero. Easy jet Romeo Alpha tree two two. Dome and cabin lights, uh, let me check. Uh, I just turned, turned them off, I guess. They're off at the moment. Hello, Rocco. How are you, bro? Hope you're doing good. Uh, yes, the, the number contacting the tower gets changed automatically. Luckily, from, from the flight simulator, I set it on auto because... <laughs> uh, it's less on the hassle. Keeps changing automatic. This one and the squawk also. Both of them get, keeps changing automatically regarding... Uh, from this menu. Whenever I wanted to contact anyone, I open my AI, so... They attempt to contact them automatically and take all the, the ATC orders through this menu automatically and they also change these numbers automatically as well the ball sign oh <laughs> I forgot it from the settings the easy <laughs> it's Ryanair actually but uh when I was setting the settings, I made a custom settings for EasyJet in one of my flights. I forgot to change it. Don't bother much about the ATC contacting. This everything is done here automatically through the AI. I will start uh, learning how to use VATSIM because the terminologies that they use I'm quite unfamiliar with but this is actually a step that I've been uh, thinking to take long ago it's a very important step for me but I heard people in there are very strict regarding the call signs and taking approvals and stuff it's gonna take a while until I learn it Being a pilot and a flight attendant at the same time, only caring for the score. <laughs> it's to Galiao International Airport at Rio de Janeiro. Beautiful place with good sceneries that was provided from Flight Simulator. Lake of Excellence is not shown here, unfortunately. Only the landing, and it's shown in this add-on here. 
because it contributes to their uh, to the to the overall score of the flight itself the 144 that I'm having here so this score is basically um, requires you two things to do which is serving the the, the cabin the um, passengers here and the landing rates The scenery is totally for free. You just purchase the game and they're all coming with the game itself. Uh, they are uh, being streamed online from an open source. There's a, the whole world map is in Flight Simulator which is live streamed from their servers. There's a 2 petabytes of data in this game that you can stream online. All the scenarios that are shown here is uh, being synced from um, Bing Maps. Wow, you've purchased some add-ons. That's perfect. That's a lot today, actually. Do you play an X-Plane or a Flight Simulator? What game do you play? This is our location now. We're heading to Sao Paulo. I've tried to choose the. Um... Oh, perfect! Perfect. You seem to be an old simmer. <laughs> That's great. Try to choose the the route that gives us. Most of the scenery here, but yeah, currently Emma, uh, Flight Simulator is uh, the best simulator games. I mean, not the 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 most accurate one regarding the simulations, but visually it's the best. No one can <laughs> debate this. The graphics is insanely amazing. The the scenery is beautiful. Even the clouds. They have made some really good clouds here. I love this game actually. Despite the fact that most of the people hate to call it a game. <laughs> they get offended when someone calls it a game, but... Pretty cool simulator. <laughs> Eat milk pot a little. Okay, still more clouds. I wanted to show some scenery here for Brazil, but clouds are blocking the view since I'm using the live weather option. Live weather and live timings. All live. Is that an aircraft in there? Is that an aircraft? Yes, it is. An aircraft. Let's see if it will show up here. It will never show up here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel kindly.
I'll be doing some streams in the future. I really need good destinations to be flying to. I really love to see some good flights uh, with the good sceneries for 30,000 feet plus. It's very rare that someone recommends a flight for this altitude. Most of the people love to recommend some flights uh, with the lower altitudes over the mountains or cities, but what I'm really looking for is a 30,000 feet plus good scenery flights. I think over the Himalayas can be good. I flew also above Japan. It was magnificent. The sceneries in there are amazing. Yeah, clouds are diminishing. But I believe there's one thing in this simulator that altitudes are not precisely shown. I don't think 33,000 feet looks like this in the real life. Right? What do you think? Yeah, for sure. For sure, you can. Just the altitude. Wait, wait a sec. The guy's talking to us? Oh, definitely not. That's the generic. You can suggest the altitude, definitely. The altitude, I already um, took through Sim Brief. Uh, where it is. The site that I generate my flights from, so. This is the one. This is my flight plan that I've taken. That's the one. The routing and briefing. The suggested altitude was flight level 330, as it mentioned here. We'll be taking the NACOP. After the NACOP, we'll be going straight to runway 15. And Galiao Airport Blanket 287, that's a great score. Here's some landscapes showing up with the shoreline. This is going to be beautiful. Still no eyes detected here. We're above the clouds anyways, nothing to be worrying about. There we go, Sao Paulo. Well, oh, there's an aircraft next to me. How oh, I didn't see that. Wait, where is it? Where is that guy? It's a generic aircraft. Definitely, he's in a very low altitude. This is a uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Drakened. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Yes, this is A320 Ryanair. I'll be checking the descent 
in just a sec. Let me check. Uh, every time I, uh, we're still in the good. The X125 to be 9,000 feet. I don't check the charts <laughs> and never ask for them because I don't know how to read them. <laughs> it's pretty hard to understand. I think we can be descending now, just a sec. Yeah, uh, we still have some time. I can start descending from Nikop here. This one. Yes, regarding the, but that, that's regarding the final approach. It gets automatically activated, I think. Most of the time that would happen. So regarding this one, uh, most of the time when I use it, they disappear. Uh, they delete the, the plan itself and start activating the final approach phase. So uh, most of the time I don't activate it manually because whenever I'm ending my routes, it gets activated automatically. Like nearly here. Uh, let me check. That's my approaching plan. I already set it when I was on the. Uh, before the takeoff, I set the approach plan. I know it should not be set at the departure airport, but yeah, I like to be prepared only. This is my approach plan. So I can activate it here. But most of the time it gets activated automatically when I, whenever I, I enter this point. Oh, perfect, perfect. This would be beautiful. Such as this view. I've got the charts here, but the point is... Uh, there's a lot of pages that comes with it. Shows up here. So we're going to SBGL. That's it. That take a while. Okay. Oh my god, I closed it. Let's check. That's it. Look how many pages are coming here. If a pilot reads all of this, <laughs> definitely he will end up collapsing somewhere. But yeah, we can uh, go straight to runway. This is the one. Eyeless or localizer runway 15. That's a lot of data to read. Final approach course 148. This is, uh, I think, the navigation radio, right? 110.3. Let's check here the nav radio. No, 110.5. That's definitely not, not, not the case. So, it's gonna take a while. Trust me. <laughs> I'll look for some tutorials. Let's take our landing data now. The approaching data. The meter. I'll print it out. Preparing it. Oh, I see some cities showing up here with some turbulence as well. You can see the wind shaking, the, the wing is shaking pretty much for the altitude. Wow, shorelines again. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> I cannot promise you that, dark in chat, <laughs> but hopefully I can someday. I'll try my best for it. Using the rudder in the air just makes me very anxious. Shakes the airplane wildly. Another beautiful scenery. And I'm definitely gonna miss my approach while watching this beautiful views. Okay, let's finish it first, then we can watch. 
print. And now we take the landing data. Uh, oh, one, one zero one eight, the Q and H temperature. Zero four zero zero at five knots. Five. Transition, I set it by default at 10,000 most of the time. It doesn't seem to be changing a lot. Are we on the track to descend to 10,000? And that would be a lot smoother, I believe. We did. Okay, let's take the confirmation here. Because these guys goes crazy when I descend without their notice. Also need a smoother air here. The wind is so heavy. Two three zero. Okay. Door noise. Uh, can you type your PC specs dark in chat so we can decide? Because some people think this game is heavy, but uh, most of the people play it nicely when they download it. Zero. Oh, these are beautiful mountains here. Pick this passenger. Oh my god, he needs a pillow during a, an approach. These guys are definitely drunk. No, no, I don't play with the keyboard. The game, the, the simulator itself is ultimately unplayable with a keyboard. I'm using a, a little joystick here, which is the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. It's pretty nice. Not the best, but it's good. It fits nicely. I also have a custom settings for it, for the sensitivity. That gives some heaviness for the aircraft itself. But most of the time, I uh, I need to train more on my manual landings. I7 with a GTX 770. That's nice. That's definitely nice. If you can check the RAMs, because uh, they are heavily impacting the game. So 16 gigabytes would be a must in this game. By the way, I'm having an i7 with uh, 10, 000, uh, GTX 1080. So I'm currently running the game on Ultra while streaming, so... I think it m it will be running good if you optimize your settings. I think you're right with our descending decision. We're still having a a deers. I uh, wait a sec. I remembered how to clear this message, but I forgot. Oh my god, yes. Let's stop. I messed with it during the... Uh, 
didn't check. Okay, wait a sec. The, this one I'll type no DH and I'll take control. This is the decision height. How are you playing, Breezy? Welcome back. How are you? That's perfect. You're having play simulator now. It is beautiful. Oh yeah, there's some shaking here. The turbulence will not last too much. Oh my god, we need to decrease again. 13. Brasilia Center is it at Romeo Alpha Tray 22. Request 13,000 feet. If I click this one, they will refuse it. <laughs> You need to wait for the... Thank you, thank you. Start descending. Are we running out of time? No, we still have some time, I guess. 2000 is way too much for this. It'll be too low before we reach our destination. Yes, I need to descend for 10,000, but the point is, if I uh, bypass their altitude, they will keep spamming in the... here. They'll keep spamming that you need to climb up again to 13,000 feet. So I need to take their decision first, after that I need to descend. I'm committing to this one since I've started with it. If I wasn't, I would definitely choose 10,000 and put it automatically. But I just need to skip the hassle that happens here. We'll still have some time and distance. Because here, as you can see, we are on 160 nautical miles and it's still... The airport is not shown up here, so... It'll be fine. Since the aircraft automatically descends on 2300 vertical speed. That's perfect. 26 frames is totally fine, flying breezy. It's totally fine, because... As I mentioned before, this is not a fast-paced game, so 30, 30 fl frames per second is definitely fine for this game. It, it shows perfectly. Uh, you can... Uh, dark in chat, you can uh, simply open your uh, windows here and type DXDIAG. DXDIAG, I will type it in the chat so you can copy-paste it. E X D I A G. Oh, whenever you open it, it shows up here. Intel Core i7, 7700 K, the RAMs, 32 gigs, and the display here, GTX 1080. This is the main specs that you need. Oh, I see some scenery started to generate here. Beautiful. We still have some time, don't worry, brother. <laughs> no, the the uh, the adhere switch was through this. This one was uh, switched to here, so it showed up. ID switch. So whenever you change it to the default one, it shows back. It uh, gets disappeared. I'm quite concerned with the altitudes here. Since there's some mountains, I revise this one. Ah, uh, 9000 is our final. Perfect. Our landing data is set here. Yes, but the uh, V app, people told me from the last stream that these, uh, one second, the uh, temperature is 25. Yes. The V app, the um, landing speed is quite lower than the the real one, so it's not supposed to be like that. It should be around 135 knots, so I'll put it manually, because this one decides it by itself. 123. I, I I'm pretty sure it decides through um, the weight of the aircraft, but one 120 is too low for an airplane to land on.
perfect. Yeah, virtual memory. Uh, if you're having issues with virtual memory, also never, never, ever forget to uh, update your Windows and your graphics driver because most of the time they keep uh, adding optimizations for these uh, memory optimizations. So before, um, when, li when Flight Simulator was launched, I forgot to update my Windows. So uh, the RAM allocation for this game kept increasingly uh, increasing very high and the space of the of the ram utilization itself it exceeded the ram space so i had 16 gigs of ram and the game was utilizing 16 and keeps going up to 17 and 18 and whenever it passes the 16 gigs the ground uh, the, the game itself crash crashes automatically anti ice will be a must here so we'll check it on anyways. Seatbelt signs. Come on man, you need a pill now. That's not the time for it. Yeah, the altitudes are quite lower than it's supposed. 13 is fine, I think. We're good to go. We're a bit low, but we're fine here. Ah, uh, let's check this point altitudes. EPG IP. Okay, CX125 should be on 9,000 feet. They'll be making it smooth. They might deny it. What? Okay. Descend and maintain 9,000 feet. Easy jet Romeo Alpha Tree 2 2. I3 7100 processor 64 bit. Okay, um, the RAM almost maxed out. Yes, I fly with the A320X uh, mod, the fly-by-wire ones. Regarding the 13 gigabytes, yes, most of the time they are fully utilized uh, in the ground because a lot of sceneries gets added to your uh, RAMs. As you can see here, uh, the, why they say the, mo the more RAMs, the, the better performance, or most of the time the less lag, because most of the time the game uses a lot of um, memory here. You can remind me when I land, I will open you this a task manager and it, it will show up here. This one, keeps in some dense areas, it uh, reaches nearly 18 to 19 gigabytes of RAM, but now after Windows updates, they kept adding much more utilizations as you can see 90% of the GPU is utilized 40, 45% let's hope they increase the CPU utilization in the future so we can have a bit of better performance that's some beautiful admirable scenery oh my god it is beautiful Okay, uh, I think we need to reach our final altitude now. Which is 5,900. And I think, yes, we are a bit late. Why not? Easy to 
Romeo Alpha Tree 2 to climb and maintain 17,000 feet. Mine is the standard version of Flight Simulator. The price uh, keeps changing uh, between the regions, but mine is the standard edition that comes with A320 only. Now oh, it is like this guy. What is he asking for? <laughs> He's asking me to climb to 17,000 feet. Imagine if I descended without their permission, what would happen? I'm losing some visual sight here of the landscapes. It's all water. Nothing to be worrying about. Um, we're not quite high. We're not high enough. So, this should be fine. The brakes. Big cloud that will reveal some beautiful scenery. Or a miserable disaster. <laughs> this guy keeps giving me an anxiety. Never mentions that I need to climb. For some reason I don't know. Oh my god. Look at this. This is a moment to remember. Thank you so much, brother. Now we will be opening the CSTR ILSs. Revise our landing data again. Thirty-five is my final speed. Uh, oh my God, we are low on altitude, right? We are low, and we are about to collapse. That was a low altitude to take. Wow. So, a bad step to take. I wonder why are they asking me for this? We're dodging the mountain, no problem. <laughs> now we had to check the CSDR, that's why. 9000, that's what it mentions here. <laughs> yes, there's a mountain. That's a fact. <laughs> I forgot to open the CSDR here, so I didn't check the altitudes. <laughs> I was so messed up. If I opened this a little earlier, I could know that at this point you should not go below 9000. But I was a little lower than I supposed to. That now looks like a Cessna flight. <laughs> Flying through these distances here. This is so casual. Two thousand four hundred is our final altitude here. We're backing softly and aligning. Mountain was already dodged. I'll just turn it on till now. Nothing to be worried about. Five thousand nine hundred. No, I've never I never done this. I I believe I switched it on. Yes, it's on it's on. Never mind. See both signs are on. It's pretty turbulent.
Definitely not the best approach plan that I've ever taken. But you know what? We can make a smoother uh, entry here. Wait a sec. We can decide this one. A bit low. No, the real simulators I've never ever used. I wish one day I will have access to one of them. Climb over here. 7,000 should be safer. Been dodging mountains. That's quite lame. My god, the turbulence is insane. I've ascended too earlier that I'm supposed to. Absolutely a worthy experience. I've never tried one of them, but I'm pretty sure they will be the best They give the full immersiveness our final that's our aircrafts We'll be following the the altitudes here. We can now have the control. He is so annoying. Okay, 9,000 feet sounds realistic. So this point is 9,000 feet, so it makes sense here. Yes, for sure. A lot of people are uh, practicing on simulators like this one, but people are still waiting for a study level aircraft, which is the most important thing here. Fly-by-wire is nearly a study um, level aircraft, but it's not as precise as the PMDG aircraft. PMDG Aerosoft CRJ 550 also is a study level aircraft, I believe. They are so realistic. I don't stream regularly, but most of the time, um, maybe two to three uh, times per week. You can uh, subscribe to the channel and make sure you are activating the bell notification. So whenever I stream, you can receive a, a bell. Also, this one, uh, this thing will be very appreciated. It depends on your choice. W which aircraft do you actually prefer? I play the A320 because most of the time is is the most accurate one. The the B737, the B747, um, still having some bugs and issues. This guy said 6,300. So okay. 
We'll be following the instructions from now. No more trolling. Oh, our speed is a bit higher. Oh, the, the descent should not go below this. Or 5,900. Localizer is starting here. My god, he's so noisy. Seven three seven is a great aircraft, but you need to wait for too long because uh, PMDG will be releasing one, and it will be definitely a study level aircraft. It will be very, very accurate and detailed. A three thirty is my favorite. A three forty is the best for me. Yeah, well, I'm I'm monitoring it over here. We're on five thousand nine hundred. And whenever we reach this, we will be descending to 5,400 after that 3,300. That's actually the natural descent process. The point is that we are losing some speed here. So... Yeah. We're going directly to 38,300, which is our final landing altitude. At this point, we can open the localizers. Uh, flaps should be turned to one, I believe. Now we get more degrees on our speed. Flaps too. I know flaps and speed brakes, <laughs> the big mess, but messed it up a little bit. It rarely happens. The mountains was a bit surprising. Yes, all of the Airbus aircrafts have nearly the same cockpit, the same body, but with a, <laughs> a much more size. Yes, the tilted gear is absolutely amazing. I flew um, around 10 years ago with A340 and oh god, it was the most beautiful landing that I've ever witnessed in my entire life. It is so smooth to the level that you do not recognize if you are in the air or at the ground. It's very, very smooth. Thousand is fine, I guess. Now, easy to Romeo Alpha Tree 2 to descend and maintain 3,300 feet. I want to turn this guy off. Here's the descend and maintain 3,300 feet. Easy to oh, Romeo Alpha Tree manual 2 heading here for safety reasons. Only Flight Simulator 2020. I used to play Flight Simulator 2004 and Flight Simulator X, but but most of the time this one is my most favorite now. I've been a, a flight simmer for too long, but not too long, but graphics-wise this one is absolutely my favorite. At the moment, I can open the localizer, and I think it's live now. Yep. Our speed should be lowered now. A lot more. I need some time before the descent. That's too low, actually. I can go for 165, it's fine. 
Yes. I'll stabilize it now. 3300 is our final uh, altitude, so... I'll be committing to this one. Uh, now we don't need this one also. Let me just... It's not recommended, but... I absolutely... Don't need that now. Wait. No, that's the protective windshield. I s it should be turned off or... What is this? Oh my god, yes, this one. Is so annoying. I engage the approach. And yes, 135, all final. You're down. Accessory, landing lights on, runway, and wing lights. We can, you know what? Wait a sec. We can use the flight recorder so we can check. We can see our replay. Record. Descend and maintain 1,700 feet now. I should be disengaging the autopilot at 1,000 feet, but this thing makes me scary. <laughs> I will do it. Never mind. 2,500. The uh, my flaps config is here. The landing config is on. Uh, Pull. No flight simulator doesn't have a flat eye replay, unfortunately. They didn't add it until now. There are views for the landing. Oh, beautiful views for the city. Rip my frames. Uh, the cabin. Oh my god, every time it stuck. Landing with no blues, please. Okay, now. Nope. Now to the moment I hate. My goodness, the altimeter is not set. Holy moly. Wait a sec. 1018. Oh, did I forgot that? Okay, now we're disengaging. What's our wind condition? There's no wind, so... Oh. Sorry, I'll not be able to read the comments until I finish this misery. <laughs> Perfectly on the line, I believe. It's shifting a little bit. One thousand. Two reds, two, two whites. Pretty good. Okay, we're shifting a little bit. That's for the winds. We're not on the center line. Please do a line. Yup, a little bit more. The 
the center eight is good. Line is back again in the center. Wait, it's in the center here, but it's not on the center here. I will do it visually. Never mind. That's a joke. <laughs> I'll come. Okay. Need a little bit lower. Five hundred. Need just to avoid the nose dive. A lot of weights here. Three hundred. Two hundred. It'll float. One hundred. It's not too floaty, but okay. Hundred above. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Five. <laughs> not the best. It's not good, actually. Dental line issues. I've never aligned it. Very rare that happens. Aerodynamics is kind of messed up, or I'm the one who is messing up here. What's our landing rate? Landing rate is minus 431. That's a disaster. A typical Ryanair landing. There's some rain here. should be started at the moment. That's a disaster landing. <laughs> oh, this guy's so kind. He's waiting for me to pass. That's a special add-on that <laughs> comes with this one, COVID-19. Most of the airlines have this uh, notification currently. Can you imagine how realistic is this game? <laughs> yeah, dome lights. There we go. You love dome lights. Oh my god, this one is not retracted yet? How come? This is some raindrops on the wind chill. I love this view during taxiing. This car is treating me like a truck, not an airplane. Handcrafted the airports are my favorite. Beautiful. Oh, 
love this muse. Wish of this simulator have an A330. You can imagine how beautiful it looks. It looks nearly to this one from the front. One day they will make it. Highly detailed A330. Hi, uh, Gillet. Roblox, how are you, bro? I hope you're doing fine. Yes. <laughs> this is so Ryan Air Landing. This is different. What is this aircraft? That's Singapore? Ah, another Ryanair, okay. The Swiss Air in front of us. Approaching the gates. That's actually a big airport. Wow. And approaching the gates. Come on, guys, move on. Get out of my way! Okay... There's our guy standing over there, guiding us. Yeah, a little to the left. Yeah, now we're straight. Come out, come out. Okay. Now we're good. Thank you. That was nice. Recording. And I'll never check this <laughs> replay again. <laughs> Engine down. We are all set. Now let's check the gates. Each one airlines definitely I will be taking it. Never mind. I'll be doing it. I'll let me just uh, take a screenshot of this so I can remember. Um, yep, there it is. Yes, outside view. That's the outside view. Let me just connect this one so I can depart. Deboard the the passengers. All the ground services is on. That is. Let me just give you a good view here before backing to the comments. Camera drone. I love camera drones. 
They are just beautiful. I do like this. It is zoomed in. Oh, that's pretty. That's very cinematic. Don't focus. I love it manually. That's our big, our big boy here. Uh, wait, I'll deboard this guy so I can ensure having this. Uh, 499 that's a good score actually let's wait for them to the board and then we will replay the the landing <laughs> the aka landing <laughs> it's so terrible at least we're on the ground you know we're not in the sea Take a ground view. Absolutely love the ground views. One like that. One guys move out from here. Can you hear the, the APU sound? Look at the details they're having over here. Let's just play with the focus. Just some pretty detailed Do you see the our external APU truck running over the airplane? Oh wait, our external lights should be turned off. Uh wait. We can play with the time. That will look much more dramatic. That's <laughs> yes, it was pitched to the right side, unfortunately. I didn't manage to stabilize the, the aircraft from the right and left before touching down. So I didn't have enough time to flare. That's why my landing great sucks. But I did some much better landings than this one, definitely. There's an option also that you can land it fully manually, but I love to take control of uh, the aircraft before landing. On the board, the board, the board, the board. Mm, okay. 65. Ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. The Wi-Fi access I'll has be now checking been it turned out, off. Definitely. Please make sure you have switched off your Wi-Fi on your device. Thank you. Oh. 
Oh, wait. One hundred percent professionalism over here. Totally professional. Oh, wait a sec, this guy needs to leave. Go. Cool. Let's go, please. Lady boarded. Perfect. Now to the disaster. Let me just start the engines again. So you can hear it with the Oh the EPU bleed is off. Instantly control it. No, I, hold, I only have one monitor. The second monitor, I didn't connect it yet. I have it already, but I didn't connect it. I have not much of a space on my desk. But I'm planning to. Utilized. Okay. Now we check it. Replay. Uh, we changed the time. I've, I've changed the time. That's why. It looks a lot more beautiful. Disconnected the the autopilot. Squawk six three two five easy jet Romeo Alpha three two two. There's some winds pushing the aircraft from this side. Easy jet Romeo Alpha three two two. No wonder. Contact six miles east of Sierra Delta November Yankee two thousand four hundred feet. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Maintain on navigation. Just push it a little bit. Touchdown. Don't sink. 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 Replay bug. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Oh god. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Please. Don't sink. 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 No, I don't. Don't sink. I don't play Roblox. Most of the time I play League of Legends. Don't sink. Here I'm trying to align back again on the center line. Struggle was real. Now uh, we sink. started our descent. Don't sink. Don't sink. That's the Don't final sink. descent of the touchdown. Don't sink. 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 Okay. Don't sink. Don't sink. Oh, I had to turn Don't sink. left. Don't sink. 
Don't sink. Don't sink. That Don't was sink. some flaring. Don't was some uh, floating. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Not too far. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Line. Don't sink. Don't sink. Okay. Don't sink. Clear, please. Don't oh my sink. God, that's the right. Don't sink. That's the right gear landing. Wow, not even flare. Not even a single flare. Yes, I was pretty high before the touchdown. I floated for too long. And uh, the flare was pretty bad. But the point is, I was trying to align at the center line. So, next time I think I will disengage the autopilot a little bit closer to the runway so I can have some time for flaring and this and deciding the um, yes the puppy lights showed uh, three whites before I nosedive I'm trying to get your channel. They can replay this until I get it. Brasilia Center is dead. Romeo Alpha Tree 22 was tight there. Must see 25 miles east of Sierra Delta, November Yankee 2,900 feet. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Easy dead. Romeo Alpha Tree 22 Brasilia Center. Squawk 7647 Squawk 7647 EasyJet Romeo Alpha Tree 22 EasyJet Romeo Alpha Tree 22 Radar contact 6 miles east of Sierra Delta November Yankee 2500 feet Cleared through the Charlie airspace Maintain on navigation Can you post the the, uh, the link or the landing in the comments? You can access it automatically. That would be appreciated. Yes, for sure, you can send the link. If it's allowed to put the link here, if YouTube allows it or not. An absolutely beautiful view. Sent it as a message or in the live chat? Don't sink. Because I cannot see it. Not visible in the chat.
don't sink. 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 No, I'm not able to see the link, unfortunately. I'm still trying to reach the... Um, your channel, but... It's not showing up here. Okay, you joined the... The challenge for the SOS001. I'm familiar with this challenge. W A. You know what? I can... One sec. I can check my channel from here and... What? Open it. Oh, it's not showing here yet. These marks that I, that I missed. So that's the one. Oh my god. That is so buttery smooth. Wow. <laughs> that deserves a thumbs up. <laughs> Absolutely love love this landing. It's very smooth. Climb and maintain one zero thousand feet. Expect vectors. Visual runway zero two left approach. Tam tree to nine or tree. 
Well, it's extremely slow that you can barely see the smokes coming up from the landing gear. It's pretty nice. Made one before uh, that was pretty accurate to this one. I think it was uh, in a stream that I was landing at Dunedin, at New Zealand. Yeah, Air New Zealand one. Was a good landing actually. I've done a not 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 very close to this one, but it was an acceptable landing. <laughs> it was good. So I think I'll be done for now. You bro.